It's my fault. The baby is mine. Where is it? Where's what? The baby. You scoundrel. How dare you call it your baby? What? You mean, it's not mine. Of course not. Then who is the father? What do you mean? Who is the father of Indra's baby? Indra's pregnant. Yep. That's what we've just been talking about, isn't it? You mean, you have stolen nothing that belongs to me. Nothing but your daughter's honor. But now that I'm going to marry her, we're okay, aren't we, Granddad? What's taking them so long? I have important business to attend to, you know. I really couldn't say, Your Honor, but I'm sure they'll be here any moment. At least I think so. I hope so. Nice earrings, by the way. Ooh, thank you. Internet. Uh-huh. Don't tell anyone, but that's where I got this hat. You there. It was you who stole my pot of gold. Roasting a pig in my hearth. Where is it? Where is my gold? Put it in my safe. It is now my pot of gold. Now move aside, old man. I want to see Chris's face when he says yes to a girl. You are a thief. Oh. And how are you going to prove that gold isn't mine? Has it got your name written over it? <clears throat> Chris. You crook. I trusted you, but all you did was cheat me out of that gold. You're just a bad loser, Chris. It's finders keepers for me. Oh no, it's not. Remember you told me the code to your safe the other night? I did. So I'm afraid it will be back to slaving over the stove for you. The gold is mine. <laughs> what? Finally. Let's make this short then. Do you, Chris? Him. What do you mean? It's not Chris. Chris was done in when he saw the old man crying. He gave him back his gold. And mean old Mark decided it was time to give his daughter her inheritance. Ah, I love a story with a happy ending. Yeah, so do I. Although, let's do it one more time. And I, Elvis like an Ides Prius Brock, solemnly vowed to take you, Indra Vajrian Banks, to be my wife, and to look after you for the rest of my life. You, and the baby, of course. <laughs>